we're here to talk about the besom or the besom. You say besom, I say besom, but I say besom. <clears throat> so, um, I have made a mess at my space. I just made some black salt for you guys. I've done up some videos, and there's just loads of mess here. So, um, basically, every time. I use magic, I use intuition, I'm even just making something like black salt. I'm calling upon things and asking for help in that, in my workings. Um, and when I say that, I mean spirits of animals from feathers, from bones, from, you know, antlers to taxidermy. Here's my wolf here. Um, her name is Boof. We can talk about her in a whole nother video. She's hilarious, but she likes to be right back here, and she was a gift from my best friend and husband. So I just wanted to show you like how I use my besom to clean up my space. Number one, I didn't make this from scratch. It is a piece of suede that I use on a lot of different things. I've used it on my staff, which I have behind me. I've used the same piece of suede on the staff. and. The suede I'm really connected to, so when I use the suede on each of my magical tools, um, I feel really connected to it. The suede was a gift from a friend, and the moment that I saw it, I was running toward it and knew that it was mine, so. Um, a besom can be made of anything, really, you know, strands of wheat, um, gosh, straw, um, any natural material. I just happened to find this ostrich duster, um, because feathers, obviously, taxidermy, I'm so close to it, and I found it in an antique store for 10 or 15 dollars, and it's from the 20s, I think, so I was super excited about that. It still had all its original tagging on it, so, um, <clears throat> yes, these are ostrich feathers, yes, they're super expensive, no, I don't pull from this, and yes, I do cleaning with it, um, of my magical workings, including things like charcoal dust, which I'm about to, because things blow out of it really well, it cleans really well, it's a magical fluff, fluffy feather duster, right? So, just made this black salt, if you want to see that, check out my last video. But instead, we're going to do some cleanup right here and right now. So let's do it! I'm going, I've, I've already cleansed the space, I did my workings, um, let's say I've about to do up a spell, okay? So I want to cleanse the space ready for that anyway. I'm just going to start by, excuse me, I kicked over my water, asking to cleanse the space here and now. Really holding my intention. Cleanse the space here and now. Cleanse the space of all negative energies, all negativities, and bless it with positivity, positive energy, and positive things. So mote it be. Now, if you have something that's, you know, at the end of your incantation, guys, instead of so mote it be, go ahead and use it. That's perfectly fine. If you don't want to use any kind of old world terminology, that's fine too. I know that some of us just don't feel comfortable. I still don't com feel comfortable saying blessed be all the time. <laughs> I mean, I use it in my workings and things like that, but sometimes I don't always feel comfortable, so I don't always say it. Um, and then I keep my be my besom or besom, you say potato, I say potato, in this beaker because it just stands so perfectly, okay? Um, yes, so clearing your space, asking to cleanse the negativity. If you have a big, long besom and you can sweep your floors with it, you know, it is it is one of our magical tools and they're, they're really special, so... Enjoy the rest of your day, you guys. Um, try and make your magical tools because there's so much more intention and they just belong to you at that point and they're so much more special. If you can add something special to them, that's amazing too. In my staff here, I've added a piece of citrine that I've had just for years and years. I have cat whiskers in them from, from uh, my cats dropping them off <clears throat> in my meditation space. And then I have feathers that I found in nature, and they're just like all very precious things to me. When I walk with the staff and my hands on that suede, 
I feel like the things that I'll find and I'll forage will be so great for the day. And that's something that I love. So let's try and make as many magical tools as we can. Um, I can try and make some together with you in the future, and I will. Thank you for coming home to the flower, my beautiful bees. I will see you very soon. Making videos 